everybody and welcome to my channel. I am very excited for today's video because we are talking about liquid lipsticks and that's something that I am obsessed with and I'm sure that you have noticed it. You will always see a liquid lipstick in my last few or many months favorites videos and uh, this love for liquid lipsticks, especially liquid matte lipsticks, that most of the things that I will show you today are matte, is getting uh, bigger and bigger and it's getting into an obsession. So I had promised since long a video about all my liquid lipsticks. I thought of breaking it into two parts, but now I think that I will just make a huge video. You cannot see lip swatches of them in this video because they are like, I don't know, 30 or 40 and my lips would bleed. I will insert pictures with hand swatches while I'm talking about them and I hope that this will help see the shades better. But if you decide by watching this video that you would like to see like a special brand video seeing lip swatches on the ones that I have like more than three or two or something I can make a short lip swatch video with them and uh, I would be happy to. I was thinking of starting with a few advices on how to wear these lipsticks first of all it's very very important that your lips are not dry you really need to moisturize and exfoliate your lips all the time Otherwise, these lipsticks are a bit, they will stick on your dry patches, they will look really, really horrible. So moisturized lips is something very important. And about the staying power of this lipstick, it varies from brand to brand. The more comfortable you feel them on your lips, usually the less staying power they have. So that's something that you need to have into consideration. I'm checking this one that I'm wearing is from Sephora. I will talk about this one, but this is one of the ones that they have great staying power and they don't feel really uncomfortable on the lips, but it's very subjective. I know many people that they cannot even stand this dry liquid lipstick formula on their lips and there are many people including me that they don't mind it nearly at all and I actually don't like the very creamy slippery ones so it's really really subjective but if you like matte lips if you like lip liquid lipsticks and you want to see um, swatches and my opinion on different brands you should stay it's really uh, difficult to apply this if you are not familiar with applying matte liquid lipstick because most of them dry very quickly so you have to work very very quickly and lip liner helps you will not always find a lip liner, especially with weird shades like that, but uh, I would always try to line the lips, especially with the ones that they are a bit darker, and uh, maybe even bring the lip liner on the whole lip so that you will give a base for the liquid lipstick to stick on. This usually helps me with many of the shades. So just moisturize them very well don't leave any lip balm residue before you apply them try to make a really really nice line around your lips before you apply them because if they dry then you will have to take them off completely another thing that is very important with the majority of them is that they are not really good in reapplying so i usually don't try to do that because they will crumble and they will look horrible. Most of them are better just with one or two coats before they completely dry and then you should not reapply them during the day. If you need to, you have to take them off completely and then apply them from the start. Uh, another small tip is that these are very very difficult to take off so usually if you don't want to destroy your lips it's nice to use an oily based makeup remover or some coconut oil something that it's also very moisturizing for your lips that will help quite a bit and uh, I 
thing that I've been through the most important and common tips for uh, liquid matte lipsticks and I will now start talking in specific for the brands that I have tried. I will love to hear down below your opinion. I'm sure that there are many brands. I know already that there are many brands that I have not tried and I want to try in the future. I will not show you liquid lipsticks like the Yves Saint Laurent ones that they are not matte and none of them are matte. I am mostly focusing in the ones that they are matte liquid lipsticks today. And I will start with two that they are kind of a hybrid. So these are the Manhattan Lips to Last Gloss and Color. So these Manhattan Lips to Last liquid lipsticks, they come with the liquid lipstick side and the glossy side. Uh, you can make them absolutely matte by just wearing this one, but they will feel much more comfortable in the lips if you wear this one. They are quite matte, actually. I have the shade, um, that would be interesting to find, 65N, and I have shown this on a favorites video. I think that I will try to swatch them now live here. Maybe it's even better than the photos. They look quite dark on the lips, but now the swatch looks quite comfortable. So they are a dark lip, but they are a comfortable lip to wear. I love them. They are very, very long lasting. They don't have a very big range of shades. So I actually have not found many shades that I would like them. And even if you use the glossy side, they're actually um, dry matte. They are not really really glossy but they are not as matte as some of the other ones. And I said dry, that's another tip that I forgot. When you apply this you always have to wait a bit, preferably with your mouth open before you squeeze your lips together because you don't want this to smudge or move around before it dries completely. But that's usually a few seconds. Next I have a very similar shade and it's a similar product. This is from Rimmel London. This is the Provoca Lips Kiss Proof Lip Color and this is the shade Kiss Fatal and they are very similar. They come with the color. Actually these are absolute dupes. You can see the shades that I'm drawn. These are like absolute dupes and I don't know why instead of swatching here I'm swatching here I will correct that but they are so so similar and they also have the lock and sign side which looks like this and I actually like this a bit better because this is not um, transparent because this will become a bit disgusting taking color from this side while using it and now like that you cannot see it so I actually like this packaging a bit better but they're so so similar. I will continue now with some classic liquid matte lipsticks and I have some very budget ones maybe these are the cheaper ones and they are from Makeup Revolution and they are the Salvation Velvet Lacquers. I have four of these and I think that I have talked about them and swatched them in the past but I will do it again so I have, I don't like the packaging of this because it's completely worn off very quickly. Uh, at least the name of the shade is on a sticker so you can find it very easily. So this is the Keep Crying For You. This is a very, very everyday pinkish shade. This is very popular and you can already see how matte it is immediately when you apply it. This is quite neon actually. And uh, the next one is called Keep Lying For You, I think. And this is a purpley, everyday wearable shade because the other one is not so wearable that I will show you afterwards. But if you like purples, this is really good. And you will see now that all of them dry completely matte. This have already dried completely matte. This is such a nice purple shade if you like purples like I do. Next one is the Depravity shade. This is one of their most famous shades and usually when one of these is out of stock it's this one. And it is a bluish purple, like a royal purple. 
this has a lot of lilac in and a lot of people find it not really wearable I love this set, it's maybe the most difficult of these to wear but this is so, so unique. I really, really like this one. And the last one I have, it's called Vamp. And it's really a dark vampy shade. And if you like the very dark vampy lips, you will enjoy this one. And this is, as I said, called Vamp. And it's a really, really dark shade, but I really like it. I don't know how I will take this off my hand afterwards, but it's worth it to make this video. I'm very excited for, about this video. So about this uh, Salvation Velvet Lacquers, they are really good for their price. They don't feel as comfortable as some others. They feel quite dry on the lips. So if you are one of the people like me that you don't mind that, you will be able to tolerate them, especially for the price and especially for some of the more unique shades. But if you are a person that really wants to try this trend and this kind of product, but really searches for a more comfortable option, these are not for you. What I also don't like is that they crumble when they are worn off and they look very weird so that's also why i like to put a lip liner under them sometimes so that it will not look very very weird because with natural colors this is not such a problem but if you're wearing a purple lip like that and suddenly your actual lip color starts uh, uh, being visual it's not so cute believe me and um, they need to be checked every few hours they have a quite long lasting performance it depends what you do so they are very very durable with drinking some of them will leave a stain some of them will not it depends on the brand it depends on the quantity you have put on your lips it depends what you're drinking or eating if you usually drink through a straw then it's even better for the lips I don't have a problem with drinking, I have a problem with eating and that has to do also with me personally because when I eat, um, especially when I don't eat at home, I have this uh, thing that I always swipe after each bite my mouth and when I eat something that is greasy or has a lot of oil, which is quite often, like it will be a salad or something or a sandwich, it will always be a bit at least worn off and I will need to take it completely off and reapply but if I'm not eating like this I usually do not have a problem uh, so I will recommend you to try these ones they are not my favorite ones but any case but they are long lasting and they have some quite unique colors next I have a velvet lip cream by H&M and I have not talk to you about it this is my more recent one actually and it is also a very dark shade but maybe a bit more wearable than vamp by a makeup a makeup revolution and it's called dare me and you can see it's such a nice shade it's actually amazing I am very impressed with these velvet lip creams. They are really nice. They are not drying. They have a really good staying power, but I don't really like all the shades. So I hope that they will bring a bigger shade range and give us more options. Next, I have some of the oldest, definitely the oldest that I have in my collection, matte lip cream lipsticks, and they are from NYX. They are not so durable as all the others, they have a completely different consistency but they were launched like a liquid lipstick with a matte finish and this is uh, really true and it gives this soft matte finish, I will swatch them up here I have uh, San Paolo and uh, I have Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo is such an amazing shade actually is this red with a lot of pink base in it so you can see this is Sao Paulo and this is Monte Carlo they have 
not the same finish. They are matte, but you can reapply a lot of coats to make them look a bit more intense. They are more comfortable on the lips, but their staying powder is also much smaller than the other matte liquid lipsticks that I'm showing you today. Next I have uh, a very popular line and I already have five of them and they are from Bourjois. They are also quite old. I think they are from the first European brands that they launched something like that and they are called Rouge Edition Velvet. So I have five as I said and I will start with um, Frambu from Bourgeois, it's this one, uh, 02 shade. This is a very nice strawberry red color, very beautiful. These are also very comfortable on the lips. I like this. They have very wearable shades. This is 0, I don't remember the name, the number, 04, and this is uh, Pitch Club. This is a peachy shade. It's not very easy to find the uh, peachy, orangey shades in this kind of formulas. I don't know why, but this is Peach Club. Very, very beautiful. And next I have 06. 06 is, uh, I don't remember the name, I think it's Pink Pong, something like that. And it's a fuchsia, very bright. This is maybe among my favorite ones. Like an amazing, amazing color. Like this really makes your lips pop. And another favorite one, but a nude one is 07. And I also don't have the name here, but I will put everything down below. And this is their nude one. And I have shown it very recently to my favorites video. I love this shade. This is such a perfect everyday shade. It looks so nice on the lips and it stays long but it's comfortable so they don't stay maybe as long as the other ones but they stay still quite long. The next and last shade I only kept for this video and I'm throwing it away because it's a disappointment and it's the 06 Grand Crew and I saw it I think in an unfavorite video. My problem with this is so patchy and it doesn't, like, whatever you do, it will not apply nicely. I hate this one. I don't know what's the problem with the consistency. I thought that maybe mine was the problematic one. And then I recently saw a Snapchat of Julia Graf and she also complained about this. And I was like, well, this is really, really a crappy one. But I also have read about some people that they really like this one, so I really, really don't know. Next I have two from L'Oreal and they are kind of new releases. And there are some liquid lipsticks that L'Oreal has uh, released and they have various formulas. So I'm only talking about the matte ones and I have two and they are the only two shades that I was really drawn to. This is the 401 and it's called Amen and this is the 407 and it's called Smoke Me Up. So Amen is a very everyday, they have quite an interesting applicator, doe food, and this is quite an interesting nude. It's actually a bit more uh, brownish than the nude from the Bourjois line and the Smoke Me Up. It's kind of a raspberry pinkies shade. In my eyes, they're all very unique. So they are these two. So this is Amen and this is Smoke Me Up. I like them. They are very comfortable on the lips. They're really nice to wear them every day. They also have a staying power that it's a bit not so long as some others that I will show you. So actually from the ones that I have showed you so far, the ones with the bigger staying power is this one from Manhattan and the Rimmel one. 
and the Makeup Revolution ones. But as I said, the more comfortable they are on the lips, the less they will stay on your lips and on the hand too. So my arm is actually quite red from scrubbing and trying to take everything off but I think we can continue and I'm continuing with the one that I have tried the least. I have only worn this once so I cannot talk to you too much about the staying power but I am quite happy with the result. It's quite a budget option and it's the Matt Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream by Sleek. I have the Fandago Purple 431 shade. This has a very long doe foot applicator and it's a really nice purpley fuchsia shade. It applies really nicely. It doesn't really smell like anything. I like the packaging and uh, I think it's a really nice one from the drugstore, but as I said, I have not tested this staying power as much as all the other ones that I'm talking about. Next, I have two from Milani, and unfortunately, these are both limited edition, and I know that they are not easy to be found, even in US. I hear a lot of US YouTubers and bloggers, and they are the Amore Matte Lip Creams. I have Sage 04 and Sage 06. Sage 04 is called Last. I like these ones. They have quite a good packaging for a drugstore brand. And uh, I have done a first impressions um, Snapchat day. And uh, I really liked them. I liked how they felt on the lips, but their wearability, it was not as long as some other ones and this is the desire one number six which is a very beautiful red shade like a bright red i like the shades a lot like the colors are this is such a beautiful everyday shade this is like this smoky dirty pinkish one and this is such a bright red they are Really nice says they apply nicely. Some people complain that they make their lips feeling incredibly um, dry. Some people think that these are fantastic. I am somewhere in the middle. They're nice ones, but I have used nicer ones. But I think these were the drugstore versions that I show you so far. And from these ones, well, the ones I like more, I like a lot the Manhattan ones, more than the Rimmel version, although the packaging in the Rimmel is a bit nicer. I really love the Rouge Edition Velvets, except the Grand Cru one. I love the Milani ones quite a lot. I'm actually quite happy with most of them. The more long-lasting are the Makeup Revolution from all the ones that I'm showing you and then the Milani ones. But uh, I think that the easiest to be found are the L'Oreal ones because you can find them everywhere and they're quite good. The H&M ones with which I'm also very impressed and the Rouge Edition Velvet ones. And then depending where you live you can find... Manhattan or Rimmel or, or their Makeup Revolution ones. Then I have some more high-end versions or if not high-end, more expensive indie brands that are very famous for their liquid lipsticks. I will keep my favorites from last. I will show you one uh, travel size that I have from um, OCC, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and this is a lip tar matte and this is the Sade Black Dahlia. I had this um, from uh, the Give Me More Lip um, Sephora kit and uh, I actually have worn it only once or twice since then. I don't like how the packaging is. If you apply it on the lip with the lip brush you can have a quite intense result and they dry in a matte formula the color is quite good but i'm not really happy with these tubes uh, what i heard is that they came they come out with this in an actual liquid lipstick formula with all the lip tars 
and I think I've seen a video from Vidas or Taki talking about this one and uh, this is something that I would look forward to try out. Next I have a Guerlain lipstick. This is one of the most luxurious lipsticks I have in my collection. The packaging is amazing and this is one of the matte ones. It's uh, The shade is M69 and it's called uh, Rouge uh, L'Extra and um, the shade is called Orgueil. I'm killing the name. I'm sure I have completely killed this up. And it even has a mirror. I mean, the packaging is just amazing. It's very expensive, maybe the most expensive one, but the color is really beautiful. It's comfortable on the lips and it stays really, really long. The main reason that this is not one of my favorite ones is that it's not as long staying as some of the others but it is some of the closest to normal if you want a liquid lipstick I think it's a really really good one and the other reason is that it's so so expensive although it's so so uh, heavy it's really a sturdy lipstick next I have um, the hourglass ones I have complained about this one in my hourglass review video this is the one that I have as a full size and it is the uh, addition one. This is actually not completely matte but I decided to include it here. It, it is matte but it's not like the mattest one. This has a very beautiful everyday shade. These are very dry on the lips if you're not expecting them. I think the problem with me when I wear these ones, when I wear this one that I wear now, I can do that and my lips are still okay. When I wear this one, it's, it's feel like the Sahara Desert on your mouth. Some people love them. Some people think that this is their favorite liquid lipstick formula. And then I have Icon in a small uh, mini travel size from that kit. And this is a wonderful color. I mean, the color is amazing. I can tolerate the dryness, but this would not be a lipstick that I would wear like the whole day. But for such a beautiful red lip, I could tolerate the dryness. I am sure about that. Next, I have three Lime Crime ones. I will show you these ones, although we have discussed that I'm not buying any more from Lime Crime. Uh, because people are curious about how these things compare and everything. So I have one from the old packaging and this is the Sweat Berry. This is an orangey red. I like this shade. It's a very corally red shade but for me it is more red but with a very intense um, orange uh, base than an orange and then I have Wicked and Salem so uh, Salem it's a brownies I don't like this doe food applicator it's very very short I like how this apply I like how they look on the lips it, I will not trust them but they are not my favorites even besides what happened with um, Lime Crime and this is Wicked Wicked is an excellent shade and I wear them of course in my everyday life I just don't want to promote them all the time through videos so this is Sweatberry this is Salem and this is Wicked and they are really really cool shades and uh, I didn't got any other ones uh, there are some shades that I think that they are really really good but I decided to skip them and I have found uh, other brands that I am more happy with them and we will talk about them now I have two from Kat Von D. I want to try more. There are some people that they are very disappointed by these ones, but for me, these ones really work quite, quite well. So I have Outlaw and it's a perfect, perfect red. This is amazing. This is one of my favorite liquid reds. Maybe, mm, I would not say my favorite, I will tell you which one I like a lot. And the other one is Love LUV and I have it in a full size. And I have gotten so many amazing compliments when I'm wearing this. Either alone or pairing it with the Urban Decay 
uh, gloss so this is love a perfect orchid uh, purple and this is outlaw such an amazing amazing red these are all these are very very good it's not so easy to find an order and they're quite expensive I think they're like 22 bucks or something but these are really really good ones okay I think that at the end of this video I will have to cut off my arm because it will be painful and red so that's why I could not do any lip swatches. I have left three brands that they are my favorite ones from what I have tried so far. And one of them is the easiest maybe for most of you to find is the Sephora ones. And uh, I will uh, leave at the end the one that I'm wearing. I have... Um, three that I have them quite long and they are actually the Sephora cream lip stains they are among the first more popular matte lip stains I have said 01 that this is maybe my favorite red I love it more than Kat Von D and then I have said 03 which is a bit more pinkish and both of them. I love how these apply. I love how these uh, feel on the lips. If you have tried them and you think that these are too dry or this is not something that you feel comfortable with, I would not suggest that you will try any of these other cream lip stains except maybe the more um, comfortable ones and less long lasting ones like the bourgeois ones because all the others would feel very very dry. The 04 one, I love this shade. This is a, a dark shade, but this is like a brownish purple one. And every time I wear this one, I get so many compliments and you always tell me that it looks really good on me. And my newest one, the newest love, this is very weird because it is a cream lip stain. But it has some simmer in it and it's the one that I'm wearing since too many hours already today. How cool this purple is. I love this one. It looks so cool also in the tube. Unfortunately this one, to my knowledge, is not available in Greece unless they brought it. And I ordered this one uh, from a friend that she went in US and it's such, such a cool shade. And they have so many more new cool shades that we don't have. Next, I have, um, if you like liquid, especially from these last two brands, that they're very popular for the liquid lipsticks. If you want a lip sweats video, just leave me a comment down below. And next I have the colored rain ones. And I have heard many good things about these ones. They come in a tube like that with a very characteristic pink lid. And I decided to go with two purples and two more nude shades and they are actually very very um, popular for this shade so Mars I actually loved Mars when I saw it on Nikki tutorials they are very brownish nudes both of the ones that I'm showing you but I really like this brownish gray ones and then Marshmallow is actually my favorite one it's this brownish gray shade I love this so much. They have a great staying power. They look very comfortable on the lips. They feel quite good for drying lipsticks. And uh, I love the shades a lot. And then I have two purples. The more vibrant one is Berry Rain. And this is also like an orchid purple. I think this looks very similar to LUV from Kat Von D. And the other one is Rain Fever. I have seen some more shades that I want of them. And I also have a lot of companies that I have not tried. I want to try the ones from those of Colors for sure. I want to try 
Um, the Jeffree Star ones, they, he has released, like I say, that it's like my nail color. I want this one so badly. So this one is uh, Berry Rain and this is Rain Fever, which is much, much of a darker purple. It's very, very deep. And I really, really love these ones. I think these ones together with the Sephora and the LA Splash ones that I'm showing you, I will show you now are my favorite ones. They have, they are pricey and these are indie brands and sometimes I know that I feel also like do I want to give this amount of money for liquid lipstick without swatching it first real life just to order it online? And also like pay for shipping and everything from a brand that no one knows. But these are very, very popular and I'm actually very happy with them. And next I have the LA Plus ones and I have the most. I actually have eight. So this could be a really good lip swatch video. And I have five of the LA Couture line, which is their regular line. And I have uh, three of their Smitten, uh, how are they called? Smitten Lip Tint Mousses. So I'm leaving this for last. And uh, I got first these ones. I ordered them from a UK site. I will have the link down below because order them from the LA Plus US site. It's very, very expensive with them sipping and everything and I saw this color and I could not not have it vindictive it's a gray color it's amazing it's so unique and you barely touch it like I barely touch this in my on my hand and it's like a gray it's like a gray bluish shade it's amazing it's so artistic when you wear it. It's really, really good. And then I got Fandom, which is a great purple. And it's such a bright, you see, that's the difference with the Sephora one. The Sephora one is dark and a bit shiny. This is such a bright blue purple. I love this so, so, so much on the lips. And then I ordered three more. And the one that I am totally, totally, totally in love with is Ghoulis. So actually there is a confusion online about this because they had Ghoulis and it was this shade and then they discontinued it and they brought it back and they brought this shade and they are quite different as I will show you. So at the end they released both shades and this is OG Ghoulis, original Ghoulis and this is Ghoulis. So the old Ghoulis one is the one that I'm showing you now. It's a very beige color and the Ghoulis one for me it's a gray I love this one and it has a bit of a brown pink shade. I feel much more comfortable of having this on my lips. And they are dupes for this one is a dupe for supposedly from Lime Crimes Cashmere and this one is an absolute favorite of mine. I love this shade. I can wear this shade all the time. And I'm getting so many compliments, although it's such a weird shade because everyone says that fits so nicely my face, especially when I have a strong eye. So I am obsessed with this shade and I just love it so much. They also, these ones are also kiss proof. So for a regular kissing activity at least, you will not have a problem with these ones smudging all over your face or someone else's face they are quite quite good and these ones and the colored rain ones are very very good and then i have rose garden which is this pinky set and this is one of the most beautiful pink sets that i have ever seen it's this dirty mauvey pink it's such an amazing everyday set so so flattering on everyone last but not least i have the smitten lip tint mousses these have a more moussey 
consistency they are a bit different and they are I think a limited edition they were released uh, with different names and now they change them I will try to find the new version of the name and put them in down below so that you will know they were released as uh, a Harry Potter inspired collection and I'm actually very happy because I got them very recently so they just changed it maybe a couple of weeks after I ordered them I'm very very happy that I got the old version with the Harry Potter names because for me that makes them even more cool so this is Enchanted and it's an amazing neon pinkish shade I actually although they differed a bit in the consistency I don't see great differences on the staying powder on powder I don't see great differences on the staying power and then I have this oh my god they're so cool I have Sirius and it's this amazing blue dark blue I don't have any more arm space and then this is Nagini and it's such a beautiful green so when I wanted a green lipstick this is what I have in mind so this is serious like are we really serious with this this is so amazing and this emerald deep bright green is Nagini and it's so so amazing I'm so excited with these liquid lipsticks they're so cool So to summarize, there are so many options on the drugstore and indie brands especially but also high-end brands. I don't know if I would advise you to go and get something as expensive as the Guerlain one or the Hourglass one without trying first some cheaper options to see if this fits for you, if it's a good idea, if it feels comfortable on your lips. Um, I just shared a few tips that I think that they will help you see if it's something that you would like or not but I will suggest that you will try with a more comfortable version like the Rouge Edition Velvet or you will try one of the really really um, good brands like Color Grain or LA Plus that they are very very known for their quality or just get one of the most uh, easy to find like the L'Oreal ones and try them out and see how comfortable you feel with them I think that it's they are all so much the, the, the availability of shades in liquid lipsticks especially from indie brands is so amazing and you will find whatever shade you're looking for but these two like really this one and this one perfect everyday shades I could wear these two like alternating and then only weird colors like that for the rest of my life and red and I would be so so happy I mean I have already made a list of 15,000 colors but it's okay so this was my long ass video on liquid lipsticks tell me down below which brands I need to try I know that I need to try the mid matte hues from uh, the balm and this is the next ones that I'm planning and as I said Jeffree Star, Dose of Color, they're not easy to find I have to order them online but they hmm, leave me down below which is your favorite liquid lipstick? which is the favorite shade from what I saw on you? do you like them? do you hate them? do you think that they feel so horribly dry on your lips that you don't like them do you like the matte lip effect? I like the matte lip effect so much but I even like these ones with a bit of a gloss on the center I actually started liking lip glosses more after trying these lipsticks in combination than combination with creamy ones because then they it smudges and it goes all over so some people are fan of this one, some are not, just let me know what you think. Give a big thumbs up on this video and feel sorry for me for this whole arm situation that it will be red and sensitive for the whole day at least. And um, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. 
I will talk to you next week with a new video. Until then, many, many kisses. Bye-bye.